What's going on guys? I wanted to bring you a video of what's going on and what the future holds. Um, we're going to be moving here uh, fairly quickly, um, within the next month I'm sure. Um, so that leaves a lot of work not only with getting the house prepared and, and ready to move out and sell, but moving in. And also the biggest thing I've been dealing with is trying to figure out what I'm doing with this. <laughs> and the fish room. So, <clears throat> it hasn't been a secret that I'm gonna sell this tank. I've just been really taking my time with the fish room and uh, making sure that that tank was cycled and ready to go. I put a bunch of test corals in there and everything was looking fine. And then, uh, <clears throat> you know, life, you know, we're just gonna move. We need to move, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, so I'm going to be breaking down the tank here um, starting tomorrow and I'm going to sell some colonies, I'm going to blow the tank out, like I'm going to sell this thing for less than what I paid to build it. Um, the 100 gallon Rubbermaid sump that I'm using in the fish room, I'm going to put the corals in that that I'm going to keep. I'm going to put those into that and then bring in that 120 gallon rimless and put it in here and then throw the corals in there that way they can be under light so it should only take about a day maybe a day and a half and I'm doing this in between working so I'm staying up late to do this stuff um, then when we get ready to move I'm not going to put you know rocks I'm not going to aquascape the 120 gallon once I get it in here it's literally going to be bare bottom put the corals in there hope they survive they should there's no reason why they shouldn't I mean I'm still gonna have life support circulation all that I'm gonna be giving the clownfish away um, I already got rid of the powder blue and the only thing that I'm going to keep is my six line wrasse because it's like my favorite fish in there <laughs> um, and I got some peppermint shrimp there's four of them in there if I can catch them I'll catch them if not they're gonna go to whoever gets the rock and whatever rock they decide to stay in so I'm going to be breaking down the fish room. That's going to happen very, very quickly. That's going to probably only take me like two to three hours. And then um, I'm going to bring the Rubbermaid sump in here, set it on the wall up 90 degrees of the tank, um, fill it up with water, and start taking the corals off that I want to keep, throw them in there, and then everything else is getting sold. So uh, breaking down the tank quickly, um, as far as like, making videos I don't really know <clears throat> when I'm gonna be making uh, any more videos um, I plan on making more videos just it's gonna be a very vi very busy time and uh, there's really not gonna be a whole bunch to show I mean it's not gonna be a pretty tank that 120 gallon um, it's just gonna be corals thrown in there and it's no fish or anything like that then we get into the new house I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep that 120 as a main tank or if I'm gonna go crazy <laughs> if I'm just gonna get the big tank and set up a, an enormous tank my plan has always been when we get a new house I want to set something up 300 or bigger and uh, I still have that set in my head that's kind of what I really want to do um, but I just don't know if that's gonna end up happening I don't know we'll have to see what happens but I'm not getting out of the hobby um, that was that was a choice though I almost just said screw it I'll sell everything and start over once we get in a new house, but I can't do it. So, um, I mean, I've just put too much time into some of these corals that started off as little itty bitty baby frags. I mean, these are all red dragon frags right here, if that puts into perspective of how big that red dragon colony was. Um, I started taking some of the corals off of the rock work already so they didn't encrust anymore. So I could, uh, eliminate you know not having as much damage I took the Hawkins Echinata the, the uh, Ice Fire Echinata whatever the other ones are the uh, I, don't know, whatever, I forget what they all are but I mean I just can't uh, I can't part with some of these colonies I'm getting rid of the green Stylophora over there uh, I'm gonna get rid of that green Pasolipora colony um, the Aura Joe down there I'm gonna be getting rid of my Setosa and that Monicap um, that green slimer there and the green slimer up on that rock if you guys remember that green slimer up on the rock there that started off as something like no bigger than the tip of my pinky and in a year and a half it's turned into quite a nice piece there 
So there's gonna be more corals I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna be getting rid of uh, a lot of the hammer and I'm just gonna keep a couple of the pieces that I think are beautiful and the majority of the hammer is gonna be gone. Um, as you can tell, I haven't really cleaned the tank. The only parts of the tank that I've cleaned are the pictures I took of the corals that I'm gonna be selling. <laughs> I'm gonna probably frag the uh, Pets Inc. Acro, like uh, a nice chunk of it and sell the rest of it. I'm keeping a good majority of some of these nicer colonies. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna frag my purple stylo or the Garf Bonsai or, you know, I'm gonna try to keep what I can because I'm greedy. But uh, that's what's going on. Um, I don't know when I'm going to have a next update. I mean, hopefully I can come up with something to update you guys on. But really, it's just going to be transferring corals into the Rubbermaid sump. Oops, sorry. It's going to be transferring corals into the Rubbermaid sump, draining this tank, taking the rock out, um, taking the sand out, moving the tank over to this wall, taking pictures of it to sell, bringing in the 120, filling that back up with water and then just dumping the corals in there and that's going to be it. I mean, there's not going to be any aquascape. Um, the fish room is just going to get broke down and the 120 gallon that I'm using to further refugium, I'm just going to give it away. I'm going to keep the frag table or the flood table because that was donated to me. Um, keeping my frag racks, the big old protein skimmer. When I sell this tank, I'm going to sell it with uh, LED lights, the tank, um, all the rock, um, so a lot of this rock is still going to have, you know, coral chunks on it. I mean, there's a strawberry field acro encrusted all over that rock. Uh, I'm going to sell it with the sump, <coughs> the sump, the return pump, all that rock in the fuse, um, protein skimmer. I mean, basically everything that's sitting right now in the tank is going to go except for the T5s and my circulation pumps. So that's what's going on guys, um, I hope I can bring you a video, uh, maybe I'll take some video of me doing the tank transfers and all that, but unlikely. So uh, we'll see you guys, and uh, I guess here is like the parting shot, even though a lot of the corals aren't in here anymore because I've already moved some of them into the frag system, and put some on the frag racks and everything already, but uh, this, is, this is it, this is going to be the last I think we're going to see of this tank. Um, like I said, if I... I'm able to make a video, I'll do it, but it's going to be highly unlikely. And here it is. I'm going to be taking my uh, Monopora Spongotis with me. That thing got humongous. That also started out as a frag about that big. So, alright guys, I appreciate all the support. Um, stick in there with me because there will be an epic project coming up when we get into the new house and it, it's going to be fun. So we will see you on the flip side. Alright guys, later on.